Hi, this is a patient with endophthalmitis after vitrectomy surgery for diabetic delamination. The case is operated by my current fellow, Dr. Riley Sanders. Here we're starting the uh, surgery by opening a gap in the pupillary membrane. We moved away from trying to cut down all the pussy synechia and remove all the membranes and because that results in significant inflammation afterwards. So we try not to manipulate the iris too much. So here we're making an opening in the pupillary membrane, as you can see. We'll continue that from the other side. And at that stage, we're trying to avoid to put fluid inside the eye or viscoelastic because we would like to do vitreous biopsy under air and we do not want to dilute the sample. Now, next step, very important to make sure that the infusion cannula is definitely inside the vitreous cavity before opening it. Now we start the vitrectomy under air and the aspiration is connected to a syringe outside. I'll leave you the link for a video we have on this technique on the American Academy website. Now having completed that, we're venting the air out, which gets the air very quickly. We're back to fluid, as you can see here. And now we'll work on the antechamber and improve the visualization by cutting uh, the edges of the membrane that we dissected. But again, we'll try to avoid cutting the posterior synechi. Now here further uh, cleaning of the NT chamber with the fibra and there's some blood as well, just to get a better view. Now we're placing viscoelastic in the eye to dilate the pupil and clear uh, the NT chamber. Part of the to me started again here, uh, clearing the uh, antivitreous from the gunk present. And you can see again as the red reflects the opening that we've made in the pupillary membrane. Now the prosplana vitrectomy, the patient is vitrectomized before, so we're just uh, staying in the vitreous cavity, clearing uh, the uh, vitreous opacities. One needs to be cautious at this stage because the view is not very good, but we're starting to see here the retina. And the rule in vitrectomy, whether this vitrectomized or not, is to be very conservative. You want to see the disc, and it's a proportional to vision uh, vitrectomy. So when you cannot see, you have to stop. And here we're clearing uh, the fundus. This is the disc, the macula, and you can see some infiltrates peripherally there. So we're trying to cut near that infiltrate just to remove what we can remove, but you want to be very cautious because the retina can be friable. It doesn't look too bad here, but again, that's the rule end of the minus. Now finish with this peripheral indentation to look at what's happening in the periphery. You can see some infiltrates there. Usually that resolves after intravitreal antibiotics treatment. The is to leave the vitreous cavity air filled, so we have to clean the antechamber from the viscoelastic before filling the vitreous cavity with air. Otherwise it becomes very difficult working in the antechamber with air in the vitreous cavity. Okay, so we did this, now we go back and fill the vitreous cavity with air. That's how we inject the antibiotics. We take the infusion cannula at the end, then we inject the antibiotics through the port. That's the vancomycin, followed by the uh, kiftazidum. Then we remove the infusion cannula. In this case, we found the eye soft, so we put the infusion cannula back with the air on, and then we remove the trocar and the infusion cannula.